Now, given the function, how do we find the direction of the steepest descent? If you've taken calculus, you might remember that it coincides with the negative of the function gradient, where each element is given by a partial derivative. In case you are not familiar with partial derivatives, here is a trick that might help. Say I have a function of two variables. Forget for a moment that y is a variable and treat it as just a number. Then we can use the standard differentiation rules to find the partial derivatives with respect to x. Now let's do the opposite. We freeze x and then differentiating with respect to y will give us the respective partial derivative. To gain some geometric intuition, let's freeze y at 0. This effectively slices the graph in two. Since y is fixed, f now depends only on x and becomes a regular function of one variable. Geometrically, the partial derivative with respect to x represents the slope of the graph of f at x. If we now differentiate f with respect to x, we'll arrive at the following formula. To find the partial derivative with respect to y, we'll have to reverse the argument, fix x, and then differentiate f with respect to y.